Hi and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and uh, take one of the recipe books that I uh, purchased at, uh, earlier this year and we're going to do some of these recipes. Now this is called the Sunset Barbecue Book. Uh, they actually uh, had the first publishing of these recipes in 1936 and it was in a magazine. After that, they have reprinted and revised uh, the same uh, uh, cookbook with m new recipes, new pictures, uh, all the way up. I think the latest edition I found was in 1986. Uh, so for 50 years, they printed out this book and revised it over the years. This is as close as I can find to the original recipes. This uh, was the, the 11th rendition of this cookbook okay and the, this is the 11th printing in 1947 uh, so let's go ahead and get started on this so as you can see I have a lot of ingredients here uh, there is uh, uh, about 15 different types of uh, recipes some of them are similar some of them are not some of them are really simple and some of them are a little bit complex um, and we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a mini series on this book because I want to try to share the original recipes as close as I can uh, to whenever this book actually started. If anybody knows where the original 1936 book is, let me know. Um, I may be interested. This book not only has barbecue sauces in many different forms, but it also has side dishes, uh, proper picnic etiquette for the time, as well as uh, building um, your own barbecue. Um, you know, with chimney, without chimney, grills, anything. It also has some instructions on how to um, camp, uh, cook on an open fire uh, in this book. So if you can find this, grab it. It's very handy. We are going to go ahead and start uh, with, it's called a simple barbecue sauce. Now, I'm not calling this a barbecue sauce. The, this, this, this is the recipe. One clove of garlic and a half a cup of salad oil, olive oil or melted butter. That's it. That's good. To do steaks with uh, uh, I am actually going to go ahead and uh, mix that up and use it to marinate uh, the uh, chicken that we're going to do today I have purchased a, um, a 10 pound uh, bag of chicken quarters I've also purchased two pounds of trout to be to barbecue and to test some of these uh, recipes on Now I don't have a clove of garlic, but I do have my garlic mash or minced garlic. Uh, you can use a tablespoon. Actually, it's a teaspoon per clove. My taste is a gar is is a tablespoon, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And instead of um, putting in a bowl and pouring it over. We're just going to put everything in the marinade bowl. That way there's less dishes. I can see where this would be a barbecue. Uh, you're just barbecuing with the hickory smoke and everything else like that, adding garlic uh, flavor to it, and the oil helps it cook a little bit even more even, get a little bit more um, that crisp around it uh, on, on on the meat. I'm going to treat this like a marinade. Now, what 
we're going to do is we're going to evenly coat everything with this barbecue sauce. And then we're going to refrigerate for a couple hours, at least four. I would give it four. If you want to, you can add salt and pepper to this. But because these sauces that we're going to use have enough sodium in it, we're going to go ahead and bypass on this for now. Cover and refrigerate. All right, so there is, we're gonna do this one page at a time. There's three pages. Uh, each one has about five different recipes on each one, uh, but there is one that I do wanna go ahead and do on another page is pineapple basting sauce. Uh, I kinda want that for the fish. So we're gonna go ahead and swap one recipe with another recipe and do that one whenever it's due. Uh, the first one we're gonna do is called barbecue sauce for roasting meat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take pictures of these and put it at the end of every single one of these videos. Uh, so if, at the end, go ahead and um, uh, hit the pause button if you wanna write these down. This is gonna take one quarter pound of butter uh, one cup of vinegar, one half teaspoon dried mustard, one tablespoon chopped onions, two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce, uh, one tablespoon of chili sauce. Now remember, uh, last year I made and canned chili sauce. Uh, if you, if I can find it, I'll go ahead and link the uh, a copy or link the um, video in the comments. Okay. Uh, juice of a quarter of a lemon. Uh, that's about, what, half a teaspoon? Uh, two lemon slices. I don't have slices. I have the preserved lemons. One teaspoon of brown sugar. We're going to make the brown sugar. And it says one pod of red pepper ground. I'm thinking it's um, paprika or some sort of red pepper powder. These days it's paprika. Uh, I also have um, chipotle powder. I guess you can use any red powder that you wish that you that is your favorite. Mix all ingredients together, put on low heat until the butter melts and then set where it will keep warm. Make a mop or swab by tying into a stick several short pieces of white cloth about two inches long. We all know what that is. Uh, dip this mop into the barbecue sauce frequently and slab the roasting meat with it so that the uh, whole surface of the roast is basted in this way. Do this at intervals of 10 minutes during the entire process of cooking. That is the whole recipe route, uh, read out to you. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get this put in. Now that we have all of our ingredients together, we're gonna go ahead and melt the quarter pound or one stick of butter. I've got, I, they sold these in half sticks, so I've got two of these. Now, just let you know that anything that is left over I do believe you can can these because this has butter in it you probably want to um, uh, water bath it for an hour if it didn't have butter in it uh, you can uh, you might be able to omit the butter I'm doing the original recipe uh, and if that's the case uh, water bath this for 
um, 15 to 20 minutes, uh, 15 minutes for pints, uh, actually 25 minutes for quarts. To this, we're gonna add one cup of vinegar. I'm using my homemade. I'm almost out. I do have uh, some backup vinegar for the rest of the re uh, recipes, but this does contain the mother. And this gives it the way um, the stability to be able to be canned. Uh, vinegar at five percent is safe enough to preserve and pickle. Now there is something going on on uh, with the vinegars. If you take a look at these stores. Um, some of them uh, brands have dropped to four percent acidity uh, we are calling this on our facebook group um uh, vinegar gate vinegar gate uh they uh there's so much of an uproar about uh the drop of acidity because you can't even pickle anything at four percent it's not safe okay five percent minimum is what is needed to be able to uh, preserve and we have even we don't even know what four percent is going to do uh, for us. It's kind of like throwing our money down the drain, honestly. And we have no idea why they're doing this. Okay, one, uh, one half teaspoon dry mustard. Okay, and it says one tablespoon chopped onion. I'm actually gonna use minced onion. Uh, it'll, help, it'll soak up the vinegar, rehydrate itself. and you get a little bit more onion flavor in it. Two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce, or however you want to pronounce it. Okay, and one tablespoon of your homemade chili sauce. Juice of a quarter lemon and then two lemon slices. Uh, Let's go ahead and do a half a tablespoon. Okay, now one teaspoon of brown sugar. Let me go ahead, wipe this off, and show you how to make brown sugar. This is about a quarter of a cup of sugar. And we're gonna go ahead and put in just a drizzle of molasses. That may be too much. That is definitely too much. The golden rule is one tablespoon of molasses to one cup of white table sugar. 
And if you want to make it dark brown sugar, you're going to want to you double the molasses, which I'm pretty sure we're going to be making dark brown sugar. Okay, and you want a tablespoon of this. I'm sorry, a teaspoon. And last but not least, half a pot of red pepper. Since this is a recipe from the 1940s, I am going to assume that we're adding a little bit of paprika. Half a pod, which I'm guessing is about an eighth of a teaspoon. We'll do that to taste. I'm going to mix all that in. Now that everything is nice and melty, we cool this off. And this is what we're going to use for our chicken. Now that it, that the barbecue sauce is cooling off, we're going to go ahead and start with the pineapple basting sauce. Now this was originally made for ham. Um, now you can use it for anything. Now just made, it's going to start with a cup of brown sugar. This is going to be incredibly sweet. But remember, this is just the basing sauce. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and add one half cup of vinegar. Again, my homemade vinegar. and two tablespoons of prepared mustard. Prepared mustard means the stuff that that's in the bottle that you buy. Um, way back in the day, you took mustard powder and you made your own mustard as you go. It kept better that way. And we're going to mix this and melt this um, and mix it together slowly for three minutes remove from the heat and add the pineapple juice it's we're going to add a cup of pineapple juice to this after it's all integrated you may need to get a whip for this let that heat up And then get out your one cup of pineapple juice because you're going to remove you're going to remove this from the heat and then add the pineapple juice. Now that this is all integrated and melted together, kind of look at a little bit of foam on top. We're going to turn off this off. We're going to take it off the heat completely and then we're going to add our one cup of pineapple uh, juice and this is the about the only can I found I couldn't find anything smaller
You stir that in and then let that cool. All right, so for our basically fourth uh, recipe, I don't know if you wanna do the simple barbecue sauce with just the olive and clove as a recipe. It's a marinade, um, but it is in here. I promise a simple barbecue sauce, garlic, half a cup, salad oil, olive oil, or melted butter. That's it. Basically garlic butter. We're going to do what's called a Quentin barbecue sauce. I don't know the significance of the name. It may be somebody's personal recipe. It's one good sized onion finely chopped, three or four cloves of garlic minced, one sprig of parsley minced, two cups of ketchup, one half cup of vinegar, one cup of olive oil, and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and pepper to taste. Put all ingredients in order given into a quart jar, cover and shake so ingredients will be blended that sit 24 hours, shaking occasionally during the day. While meat is cooking, baste with this mixture using a pastry brush or a clean cloth tied to a stick of wood. Okay, so this is not cooked. This is just put together. Perfect. So let's go ahead and get reset up. Let's go ahead and chop up the parsley real quick. Since about the, that's about the only thing we're gonna need to, this and the onion. Chop this up real quick, real fine. I bought a whole bunch of parsley. I'm gonna dry it out for the rest of these recipes. Right, let's go ahead and Use fresh on this one. It says three or four cloves of garlic minced. I'm gonna go ahead and put in two tablespoons. Let's go ahead and chop up the onion. It says chop it up fine. Um, I'll do it my best. And this is about as fine as I can get it. Let's go ahead and put that in the jar. It says put it in order. I'm really don't understand why. It's all gonna mix anyway. Okay, and two cups of ketchup, which is about a pint. That's the reason why we are in a using a quart jar. Half a cup of vinegar. Two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce. And 
and then a cup of oil. I'm not going to put any pepper in here, but if you want to add pepper, um, you can. Just regular black pepper. I don't think my quartz are... That just fits, fits it. And it says to let stand 24 hours, shaking occasionally during the day. Ah, not good. Now this is looking more along the lines of modern barbecue sauce. And this should be pretty close to what we're used to. We're just going to let this sit a little bit. We're going to go ahead and uh, utilize half of this on the fish, the other half on the uh, with the pineapple. Uh, uh, Grandpa has already tasted the two that we just made. He likes the first one, or, in the, or the second one technically, um, the one with the butter in it. And it, he's not too fond of the pineapple, so we're going to go ahead and try this one on the fish as well to see uh, which one would uh, go better with uh, a more meatier uh, trout. Holy thing. Holy thing is that way. Camera on. Love you. Okay, hey, and then there we have it. We do have our barbecue chicken. Uh, we have a big old tub of this. We're going to keep this in the refrigerator and eat uh, through this until we're done with it or sick of it, and then we'll freeze it. And we have our trout. This is the one with the pineapple uh, sauce on it. Grandpa's got his one with the, um, t uh, the, the ketchup uh, based uh, sauce. Thank you for joining. Hope you enjoy. Try some of these recipes. We're gonna be uh, continuing on with the, the, um, the rest of the book uh, here next week. And we'll see you next time.